Welcome back everybody to another episode of Road Life with Chris. Today we're in uh, Orland Park, Illinois. I'm getting ready to offload some stuff here. And uh, <coughs> as you can see, my trailer today is a uh, Conestoga. So we're gonna be doing things with it. Uh, I'll be making another video here pretty soon on how to operate this uh, Conestoga. But today, this is what I'm doing. So I will set y'all up here in just a minute and uh, kind of give you a quick glimpse of what I do. So, see you in a bit. Welcome back. So, I'm going to get to the bar here. And, uh, like I said, we're uploading some stuff here in Orland Park, Illinois. So, I got to open up this here kind of stoga. So you got two straps here on the back. You undo the bottom, undo the top. When you do, it's got some Velcro here on the side. So you'll pop this open. Bring it back and connect it on a little hook here on the side. Bring this other one, put it through the ring. Do the same thing to the other side. A little windy, so hopefully it's not bothering you too much. So then, right here on the edge at the bottom, you have these little tabs that keeps the bottom bar there. <coughs> you turn those out. That can be a little tough. Then once you do that, you can pull the bar out. So now the bar's out. You take your, your winder. You'll see the square bar. Stick that in. Yeah, come out of the way. You get an angle on it. Then you just roll it up. And so what I do is use the bungees from the back, bring it around, and connect it. They'll hold that in place. Then you reach inside, and grab your handle that we can undo your locking and tightening mechanism do that on both sides And then just take your handle, see your right magnet holder, that way it's out of the way. Push back on your on your bar. Because up here at the top, you'll see where it catches to tighten everything up. So you've got to get it out of there. Sometimes it's easier one side to do one side first. That side there is undone. It's a fairly new one, so it may not come out as easy. So you may have to tap it. So once it's out, you lean it forward a little bit. Okay? Now, the wind is coming from the left side of the trailer. So you can see here where it's blowing the canopy in. You want to make sure that goes out or else you'll pinch them. Sometimes it takes a little work to get it to go. 
As you can see, I got the three that I'm dropping here. I got them all unchained, as you can see behind me there. You know, now I'm just waiting on the people to come get me offloaded so I can get on down the road and head to Indianapolis, Indiana to get the next one done. Uh, looks like my, my camera's a little dirty, hold on. Hopefully that's a little better. So that's what we're doing. Kind of in a tight place, as you can see. I'm in a shopping center back behind me here. Men's Warehouse and Trader Joe's and David's Bridal and Party City. So now it's just a, you know, one of those typical things, hurry up and wait. They want us to hurry up and get there, but then we got to hurry up and wait on them. So here we are waiting again. See you soon. All right, welcome back. Now we're going to close it up. We're off of it. Now we got it slid back to these bars now. You gotta pull at the bottom, push the bar back. And it should fall into the groove. You may have to unloosen it some, 
because there's like a bolt or a pin that if it's not down far enough will actually hit and won't let it go into the little slot that it's supposed to. So now that one's in. I'll come over here and do the same thing on the other side. Need to undo it just a little bit more here. Boom. Now it's in. Now I can grab my handle. Righty tighty. And you see it starts pulling it in. So I'll do a little bit on this side, then I'll switch to the other side. Now I switch over to this other side, do the same thing. There's a line here on the frame, on the rub rail, there's a line. So you want to bring up your edge to that line so that way you don't over tighten. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do now. Do that on both sides. Then put your wrench up. Then on the other side where I had my tarp up, I'll undo it. You hold on to it quite well. Let me adjust y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing here. So, when you undo this, hold on to it good. Bring it out a little bit. Make sure you got a good grip on it and it's not near your face. Because that weight will cause it to unravel on its own. Then you pull it out. Then here on the side up here is a spot for it. There's a pin, you pull it back, set it down, let the pin down. That way it holds it in place. Now I'll come back here. Go ahead and get everything adjusted right put my bar here As you can see it's not in there like it's supposed to be I get it pushed in push your little cover over holds it in place do the same thing on the other side. Push a little tab down. Then you can grab your straps. This piece here, just kind of pull it tight. Make sure your flap is down and then close it. Hook it up and hook the bottom. Do the same thing on the other side. And that's basically how you close it up. Like I said, I'll make another video on how to actually do the whole thing and uh, do the front. So this is just a quick one getting offloaded. So anyway, thanks for joining. If you like what you saw, hit like, subscribe, help me grow the channel, comment. Help me with that algorithm thingy. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.